All right, everyone, welcome back to another episode of Diablo 4 Season of the Malignant. This is the first season for uh, Battle Pass. I'm Captain Beefy. This is the Game Vault. And we're continuing along with the story. We went ahead and we made quite a quite a bit of headway there. So I did a little digging around in between here and there from the last video. And uh, looking at the Season Pass, it's, you know, you just got to claim things by using... Uh, going down here and claiming them and you can see which ones are free and which ones will cost you um, and it looks like you can skip ahead at any time and buy the next tier with some quicksilver but uh, or not <laughs> no man's sky with some platinum but yeah I'm not doing that that's kind of goofy I mean we're gonna make it anyway uh, the season journey 66% of the way they're done uh, we want to collect a malignant heart still I'm going to do two more dungeons in Fractured Peaks, so we're going to work on that. Collect the Whispering Key. We can do that right now, as a matter of fact. So let's go ahead and get that Whispering Key. And then we'll uh, go look and see what the next dungeon is that we're going to hit up. And maybe we'll get another aspect for our uh, for our little uh, necromancer here. I changed his look, by the way. So he definitely looks a little bit cooler. We got a couple of the seasonal pieces that came with the uh, battle pass there. The shirt and the pants. So that's kind of fun. And I don't know how much we have. 52. We'll buy two keys just for the hell of it. They say they improved what's in these, uh, you know, these silent chests or whatever they are. So kind of curious to see what that's all about. If they really have um, or not. I don't know. Uh, okay. Necromancer. Let's find something for the Necromancer. Barbarian. Sorcerer, Druid, Barbarian, the Boiling Wound. Again, not all of them are opened up. Oh, here's a Necromancer one, Blood Surge. So we've got quite a journey to get there. But I would like to uh, get this first. Oh, chapter one is complete. So that's ready to claim. Ready to claim. Ready to claim. Claim rewards. So, cool. Favor is toward unlocking. This contains a number of scattered prisms as well as jewelry. So here's chapter two. Complete 10 cellars, collect malignant hearts, conquer a stronghold. Ah. Craft any chip gem, complete a malignant tunnel. Reach level 25, collect demon hearts. Oh, change your gear appearance. All right, we've already done that. Interact with waypoints. Upgrade items. Upgrade your potion. Alright, so this is all stuff that you're pretty much going to do naturally anyway, so that's cool. And then we can go down here, and I guess we can claim... We already claimed that. We have to reach... Wow. So we really have to level up before we get any of the... Any of this stuff. So level 40 is when we can get our first Smoldering Ashes. That's a ways to go, man. Would have been nice to have that stuff available right off the bat, but, you know, to, based off this last patch and, and stuff, it really looks like Blizzard is just trying to basically keep asses in the seat, so to speak, and, you know, keep players playing just because they're slowing things down, they're making it harder to level. <sighs> Not really happy with all that, um... 
definitely doesn't feel like the same Blizzard. It's not. Ever since you know Activision took them over, of course, they're not going to be the same as they were back when it was just Blizzard North. But it's a little frustrating, you know? A little frustrating, so... Oh, Spear is great, man. Oh, got the Exorcist Cash. Okay. I find this a very confusing character to play with. I guess just because of the... Uh, amount of stuff I have going on with all these different... Ah! Oop, level 10. You know, with all these skeletons running around and all that, it throws me off a little bit. Alright, let's do it again. Um... Yeah, we'll do another Grim Harvest. Alright, we'll continue on our way up here. Then we're going to go back to town and work on our potion. And then I think we'll go hit Cormond up after that. I just want to collect another aspect real quick. What do we got going on over here? Throwing the party. Oh, that's for that. Okay. Yeah, that's for that cash. You know what? We're going to do this one instead. We're right here. This was a worthy divergence from our original course. Yeah, he doesn't look too bad, does he? Got the skull in one hand and his big bone in the other. Essence is nice. Not gonna lie, so we gotta do two gate winches in here. to get some freaking decent equipment, man. This sucks. <laughs> it is really tough going back to a, a brand new character when you've been, you know, I'm almost level 100 with my sorcerer. <coughs> Excuse me. And even after the huge nerf, she's still a damn sight more powerful than this guy. I know it's all relative with the creature levels and all that. This guy's actually doing pretty good, considering we're on World Tier 2, right off the bat, you know. But having those extra skill points is a big help. Can't deny that. Yeah, get the 
first winch in here somewhere? I know it's winch. Race are kind of an annoying enemy, I'll tell you that. Alright, first winch done. Guess we gotta go this way. It was a good little wrap around, though. So yeah, what do I think about this so far? I mean, it's it's pretty much the same game. You know, this season is very unspectacular so far. But again, we're in the first hour of it. Is it gonna get better? It doesn't really feel like anything's changed. At least not yet, you know. But again, it might it might get better. We'll have to see. You know, maybe when the hearts come in into play, I start getting those. I mean, yeah, there's some new stuff around the uh the world with those malignant tumors or whatever they were, but that's not much, you know. Definitely not anything exciting. Yeah, we got new cosmetics, whoop de doo You can barely see your character anyway. You know, where this game a uh, third person style game. The cosmetics would be a lot cooler. But in this situation, eh, they're okay. Alright, off to the haunted cell block we go. Hey, where are we here? Almost at level 11. And there's level 11. So we gotta kill everybody in here. Okay, 
A corpse explosion can be kind of fun. It's pretty powerful. Oh, that hurt. Easy peasy. Got some more goodies. Let's go ahead and level up. Do one more Grim Harvest. Now we get six. Let's get these guys up here. Haha. <laughs> Exploded. Big batch in here. Oh, my God. Oh, all right, a cursed one. All right, we got a massacre enough enemies. This ought to be fun. Oh, we've already massacred enough enemies. Absolute riot. Absolute riot. There we go. Really didn't even need our guys. I mean, I'm sure they helped out in the beginning, but yeah, after that, man, we just wrecked it. <laughs> Should be getting toward the end of this here. Oh, yes. Forgetting how important gold is. Now I got almost a hundred million on my main character, but yeah, in the beginning it can uh, it take a bit to build some up. Oh, I hate this guy. Uh, 
All right, we'll follow you around. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I guess we didn't do enough of them. Well, we tried, bro. I don't know what you want from us. Alright, let's finish this off. Definitely fun against the mobs. We're down to 11. <coughs> I don't know if this one has a boss or not. And I'm frozen. And the Black Asylum. It's done. We got another new aspect opened up. That's awesome. Let's see if there's any stragglers in here real quick. I guess not. So... us to gather some more spirit stuff. Let's go back to Kyova Shed and upgrade our potion. Do whatever else we can do. I th think we can do gems now too, if I'm not mistaken. Oh no, it's upgrade equipment. Alright, well first off, let's look and see what we got here. We got That gives us lots of goodies and an amulet. There's a big boost. Yeah, we'll take it. And, hmm... This does enough interesting stuff to make it worthwhile. Little boost. There we go. Some nice shoes. So it looks like all the slots are going to be...
for Malignant. So, yeah, you're definitely losing 750 armor if you use Skulls, and pretty much everybody uses Skulls, I believe. I know well, I did. Look at you. Let's look. go ahead and upgrade our equipment here. So, we'll go ahead and upgrade this just for the hell of it. 500 gold. Take it. I'll dispose of all our junk. And we'll go talk to the potion lady. Well, you certainly have to look well, someone who spends a lot of time. Her voice cracks me up. I expect you'll also want. Alright, so we can do a tiny healing potion. So we go from 17 life to 48. Yeah, we'll take it. And we can make elixirs, huh? We may as well use them. As they'll just get us benefits there. We want to go to Cormont's workbench. So we'll have to go to Kid Bardu. Do our little fast traveling to our uh, next region. And let's check the season pass real quick. So the artisan's boots we got. Oh, it shows you what different things they are. Okay. Oh, we're not quite there yet. Gotcha. We're not quite there yet. You know what? Fractured Peaks. Look at that. We're very close. We are, what, two dungeons away? Actually, two side quests away. From getting our next point of renown in there. Cool. Alright, well, let's boogie. We've got our horse. Yeah, some of the guys in my little clan were discussing on whether or not to do the campaign again. I was like, eh, I really don't feel like doing a campaign for this. I feel like it would only slow down my progress. Let's go ahead and use one of these so we're ready. Um, yeah, I just feel like it would slow down progress as far as leveling goes. I know you get a lot of points for it. You know, a lot of XP and all that for what you do. And you get all kinds of interesting stuff as you're going along, but still... With the cutscenes, yeah, you can skip them. All right, Cormond, I'm here. Talk to me. Make this uh, make this worthwhile. First, I should apologize for my manner before. Nearly being at the party. You could say it rattles the nerves. But you asked why we've come to Orbe. You'd be surprised what can survive a fire. I found the designs for the cages here, in the ruins. If I can delve further, I might learn how best to use them. Perhaps even cure the malignant. Like when Not real fond of his voice acting. I need time. The malignant have spread to the dry steps. Every day, they encroach on villages, towns. Soon they'll reach us here at Orbe. I've seen them rise from holes in the ground. I dared not approach. But you could venture inside. Hold them at bay, and I swear, we will end this nightmare. We? I think you're talking. I will end this nightmare. But, you know, whatever. Defeat Malignant in a Ravening Pit. Alright. Again, we can't do anything here. And we can't salvage anything. So I guess we can only do that in tunnels, so where are we going? We're going here. Well, that's a bit of a hike. But that's alright, we'll gain some XP along the way. Oh wait, is there a... Waypoint here? I guess not.
really should gather all that stuff up. And here is a nice little diversion amongst retreat. We'll go on in here real quick. Get this out because what we need 10 of them, I think it said. So, got all that done. Let's see what's next on our list here. Blood Mist. Is that up in here? Bone Prison. Yeah, Blood Mist. Using a build guide for quick leveling, so. Alright, that was fun. That's two of those puppies down. Next will be Corpse Tendrils. in here. Nope. Where the hell's corpse tendrils? Spiked armor. Skeletal warrior mastery. Ooh. Here we go. Corpse tendrils. I'll learn how to use all these. See how they work together. And we're lucky level 13 now. Not, not too bad for... How long we've been playing? It hasn't been too, too long. I'm interested in seeing what one of these malignant pits looks like. Oh, look at that. That was kind of cool. Yeah, that wasn't bad at all. In fact, there we go. Now we got all our essence back. The Field of Broken Spears. Sounds like a U2 album. Oh, one of my least favorite enemies in the game. Those wasps will wreck you if you don't see them coming. You know, they send out a big batch of those glowing green little 
flies at your baby wasps, whatever you want to call them, and they will wreck you big time if you don't see them. Everything's all crazy on the screen. Yeah, it's big trouble. What is this? A tarnished amulet. See, there they are, those little green, little green flies. Tell you what, man, that's a big help. Six mana doesn't sound like a lot, but, or essence, whatever. But it does add up pretty quick. close I kind of want to stay on point here come on guys I like going on foot just so we can you know have these little random encounters like this Get a little XP flowing. Alright, now we get to see what a malignant tunnel looks like. I have a feeling it's going to look a lot like a regular old dungeon, but, you know, we'll see. Maybe there's something different about it. Actually, it looks like a butthole. <laughs> it looks like a, yeah, <laughs> one of those cellars. Not a not a real um, dungeon. So kind of interesting. It's going to be something in between the howling throat. We got a vicious guy. So, okay, I guess that's when they say they come back. It looks like he came back. Yeah, there's a caged heart. So I think that's the very first one we found, right? They can be placed in jewelry with matching malignant sockets. So there it is. Caged Heart of the Pecana. 82 armor. Critical strikes electrically charge the enemy for 2.39 seconds, causing lightning to arc between them and any other charge enemies, dealing 58 lightning damage. Alright, we'll put it in there just for the fun of it. Let's see how that works out. What's going on? Uh-oh. Looks like we got an issue with the game. Looks like we got a little freezing going on, ladies and gentlemen. Give it a second, see if we get booted or not. Okay. Broke for a s alright, well. Out of all the things that could have happened there, losing one skeleton was the least of my worries. 
I thought for sure we were going to get booted. So you figure the player base, despite all the controversy the last couple days, is probably up because casual players that wanted to check out the first season are on, you know. Another heart. Does that bring another guy up now? Yep, there he is. And here we go again. We have a little bit of freeze going on. Let's see what happens this time. Everybody's just running in place. There's a whole lot of combat going on on the server right now. I'll do some fighting just in case. Do some bone spears there just in case. And do some corpse explosions just in case. Maybe raise a skeleton or two. <sighs> it seems to be happening around these. Uh... All right, I died. <laughs> yeah, I was kind of wondering what would happen there. All right, well we're back. Let's go see what happened. Oh boy, I'm glad I'm not playing a hardcore character. It's, uh, you know, always online games and hardcore characters. It's really tough. You gotta be brave. Alright, looks like we got another caged heart there. done? Alright, let's take a look at this one. This is a Caged Heart of the Lionheart. You gain 11% barrier generation. You heal 3 life per second when you have an active barrier. So we don't have any brutal sockets available, so we can't use that. So weird. It's definitely a weird and clunky mechanic. It's almost like you have to. It'll be interesting when we get the jewelry opened up and we can start socketing to see how we choose what kind of socket to put in there. Or, or yeah. Can we choose, first off, to put a specific socket type in there? Here's the other guy we want to kill. his heart. I guess the goal is going to be to get those really good ones that um, can go into anything. Right, let's get this guy done with. Travel to the rotting bowels. Oof. That sounds terrible. Nobody wants a case of the rotting bowels. Just the rotting bowels are this way. Let's go, lads. They don't like following me when I have electricity, I guess. Okay. So 
the dungeon's complete. Got the heart, so I expect he comes back again. Yep, he sure does. And then we got his caged heart. So now we have caged heart of the lion heart. We had that one. Caged heart of the sacrilegious once inserted. Blah, blah, blah. Walk near a corpse automatically activates an equipped corpse skill every second, dealing 29% reduced damage. And we got another vicious heart, another Picano one. pretty common. Devious. So Stevie, that's brutal and that's vicious. So weird. Better pants. I guess we'll just dump that for now. Yeah. So it wants us to use Corman's workbench. So we'll go back to Ked Bardu, head over there, and see how this works out. Yeah, we're almost up to level 14, which is cool. This will probably put us over the top for that, maybe. Be shooting arrows at me. So we can craft malignant items. A brutal malignant invoker invokes powerful brutal malignant foe from the indigo malignant pustules found within the tunnels. An uncertain heart. Okay, look at that. We got different kinds of Icor. Contains a random caged heart with a chance at a wrathful heart. Well, we're definitely going to do that. Just to see what we get. And I guess we can no longer do that other thing. Oh, we got it. We're supposed to do the. Oops. So, what did we find? We didn't pay attention, did we? Got a devious heart. Nothing in sockets. Resource draining effects are 52% less effective. In addition, gain 4.5 increased resource generation. Let's go ahead and insert that while we're here, just because. So we can destroy these. Let's see what we get. 11 of one. 7 of another. Alright, still not enough. Uncertain, uncertain evoker. Absolutely fascinating, guys. Alright, well, again... Not super impressed with everything, but, you know, it's not horrible. I mean, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how things develop here with this uh, new mechanic and all that. And as we get a little bit higher level and start getting into better stuff, start getting a little more comfortable with this build, um, have some more fun with it. But thanks for joining me today. As always, I'm Captain Beefy with the Game Vault. This has been... Diablo 4 Season of the Malignant and if you enjoyed the video please press a like on it don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring that bell for notifications I'll see you guys next time until then peace